Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with phonearena.com and this is the gorgeous looking Xperia Z2. I am right now live from the Sony booth at Mobile World Congress 2013 and a lot of you have been asking us what's new in Android 4.4 which the Xperia Z2 packs. So that's what we are going to see in this video today, hands on of the Xperia Z2's Android 4.4 KitKat. So straight away you can notice that the new Xperia UI has the translucent bar at the bottom which is uh, standard of the KitKat uh, UI and over at the top you can see all the icons are white and different so they are a little bit different from the Xperia Z1 Compact you might have seen a review which uh, would have shown a lot of the UI so now getting the notification bar down you can see that the notification toggles are gone and you have quick settings quick settings has the new uh, toggles here and also you have the edit button which will take you to the editing screen but that's not it, there is a lot more uh, in the uh, Xperia Z2's uh, Android UI. So let's go into settings and see what all it packs. You can also see that there is a minimal change to the uh, UI here in the uh, app list, which is uh, more transparency, there is no Chrome around. So let's go to the settings now. Okay, let's go to the quick settings and the settings. So there you go, this is the settings. There's a lot of new stuff here. Uh, let me go through one by one. In data usage, you can actually set a new uh, set mobile data limit, that's new. And in Xperia connectivity, you have the one touch setup, which will transfer every settings right from the wallpaper to the icons to the Xperia Tablet Z. So if you have a Tablet Z or a Tablet Z2, you can ha have everything synced between both the uh, devices. So that's cool. And then you have uh, in personalization, you have a lot more things. So there is new thing called motion, uh, smart gestures here, just like what we have seen in other phones. So you can like directly answer a call, you can reject by shaking the device, and uh, you can also ring it off by placing it face down. So pretty normal stuff here, that's nothing new. And then uh, you have a lot other things like um, you can clear view notification when the uh, panel is taken up. For example, you are viewing a notification down and pulling it up it'll automatically clear the view notifications, that's good. And you also have the ability to control the status bar icon. So if you want, uh, don't want the, the stamina to show up, then you can clearly remove it. Uh, there's also new icons for the battery status bar, so that's pretty good. So all these are like uh, major changes in the 4.4 UI. And also you can now uh, have extra uh, settings in sound. So really interesting stuff here, you can have high resolution audio via USB. So you can connect the USB headphones to this and listen to high audio. How cool is that? So that's uh, one cool thing. And you also have sound effects, and uh, uh, which has clear audio plus. So a bunch of stuff new here in sound. And then under power management, you have the really awesome stamina mode. But there are all uh, new settings for stamina mode. You can actually restrict the performance of the processor. If you think the Snapdragon 8 the processor is overkill, then you can uh, obviously use this to extend the battery life by reducing the performance a lot. So that will extend the battery life massively. That's what the Sony reps say. And I hope that's true because the stamina mode is really good and works really well. And then you have printing, which is a standard 4.4 feature and nothing much. This is okay. There's a lot of changes in the display settings that I'll show. So uh, brightness, white balance, all that you have seen. Smart bike leg control is something uh, new, which is like smart stay from Samsung. And finally, we have double tap to wake up the screen. Yes, it's finally here on Sony devices. It has uh, it has been there on Nokia and LG devices, but now there's on uh, Sony devices. You can just uh, turn the screen off and double tap to turn it on. There's also new animations for the lock screen and a lot of new stuff in Android 4.4 for the Sony Xperia phones. So we hope to see this update on the Xperia Z1 and the Xperia Z1 Compact real soon. So uh, you'll hear that from us on a blog, so stay tuned to the blog. Keep looking at the YouTube channel, we are uh, getting a lot of coverage done from MWC. So that's about it for the video, Xperia Z2 running Android 4.4 KitKat with the new Sony Xperia UI. That's about it guys, thanks for watching, let us know what you think in the comment section below, do hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more.